Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started guys, please subscribe if you are new here and you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow me on all of those. And guys, make sure you have your notification bell on. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you. But what is going on you guys and today, Today, we are doing another scary phone call. Woo! And we're going to be calling this number, which was another number recommended to me by Tactical Bench 9. Um, he's been giving me a bunch of these numbers lately. And uh, he said to me, Michael, it's me, Tactical Bench. I've been looking for numbers and I found this one. Not much information about it. I think it's not really out there, but I wanted to give you the number so you can call it. Then he gave me the number, and then he said, I've called it. It's kind of creepy. Go ahead and give it a call. Good luck. And have a great day or night whenever you see this. So, with these numbers that people recommend to me, and they don't really have a story behind it, um, I always try to pre-call it first before I make a video about it, because otherwise it's just a waste of time, you know, coming up here and setting everything up and then starting, and then it's not even a real number or it's a real person. So I always like to try to make sure that it's not a real person. So I have pre-called this number and there's something I wanna tell you guys about that. Uh, it does work, it is a little weird and I kinda of want your guys' opinion on this. Um, but there's something else I wanna tell you guys about it too. So this phone number is 602-661-0215 and it is an Arizona-based number. Um, I did Google it, there's literally nothing comes up. But uh, I have called it before gonna call it again and you guys can listen and see what you guys think because I really want to know some opinions on this um, I will call it now and put it on speakerphone and then there's something else I want to tell you guys in fact I'll tell you now but I'll show you after we've called it um, but when I called this number the other day uh, I, I called it just to make sure it was real and everything I thought okay I could do the, this one for a video but I need to make sure it's real first so I called it see what happens thought oh okay it's a little creepy and then uh, five hours later, the number called me back, but I didn't recognize it. I didn't recognize it. So I was just like, oh, I had a missed call. So I called them back. And it was only then I realized it was that number when I called them back. So I called them back and they actually answered. And uh, there was nobody there, no talking or anything, just kind of like a, like there was somebody there. I could hear like a, a clicking and tapping and stuff moving and stuff like that. Um, the call was connected. Somebody answered the call. And so I was like, hello, hello, who is this? Nobody answered. So I just hung up and then I texted the number and I said, hey, who is this? Um, and Tactical Bench 9 said they've texted him back a couple of times too. So a little bit after I text them, I get a text message and it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. It says, who are you? I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I'll put it up on the screen right now, actually, and then we can get into it. But this is what it looked like. It was not normal. Um, it was like some sort of symbols and all that crap. But you can clearly says it says, see, it says, who are you? Um, so, yeah, I'm a little nervous to call this. After that, I didn't reply or I didn't do anything. And they never bothered me after that. So I am going to call them again and uh, see what happens this time. So I'm going to press call, put it on speakerphone, and see what happens. So here we go, guys. It's calling. Hotel, Echo, Lima, Papa, Uniform, Sierra, Whiskey, Echo, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Echo, Alpha, Delta. 
Okay, so that's pretty much what happened the first time I called it. It's just saying a bunch of names. It's like some kind of test phone number. Um, that's what I thought it was originally, but then they called me back. And then when I called them back, they answered, but they didn't talk. And then I get a text message saying, who are you? So it's weird to me. I thought it was just going to be one of those, you know, pronunciation lines or something where it like, or it tells you some words to make sure you can hear properly or something. Um, but it seems to me like it's something else. And I don't know, maybe it's some kind of, I, I think maybe it could be like those words could stand for something like I heard hotel wiener. Oh, don't, don't panic guys. It was just Ricky Berwick. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like it could have been some sort of code. Now I'm wondering what happens if you put all of those words that it said, put them all together, like the first letter of each word and see what it says. Um, maybe it could be like a message, a hidden message or something. I'm going to try that, but I, I'd need to like watch the video back to be able to do that. Um, I'm kind of waiting now because it didn't take them so long. It was like five hours, but if I catch them at the right time, I feel like they might call me back. So hopefully they will. Uh, or I could just call again, actually. I'm not going to wait. We're going to call again. And uh, I'll leave a voice message and ask them what this number is. So I'm a little nervous. Here we go, guys. It's calling. Hello? Hi, um, I had a missed call from you yesterday. Uh, I was just wondering who this is. Hope you can text me back um, or call me back. I did get a text from you. It was like, uh, who are you? But with like weird symbols and stuff. So just wanted to find out who this is and thank you. Hope you call me back soon. Love you. <sighs> okay, guys, we did it. We did it. We did it. All right. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna like, I am very anxious about this one cause I've never had, um, I've never had a number like call me back before, except for like, you know, Booth World Industries and stuff like that, but never had another one call me back. So interested to find out who this is and what their plan is. Maybe it's some kind of demon or curse number, but yeah. It's kind of scary guys, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna be like watching my phone the whole night now. So let's just see how that goes. But yeah, uh, I will put the number in the description and in the title if you guys wanna call it yourselves and see what you can make of it. And uh, if they let, if they contact me back, I can't even think straight cause I'm too busy watching. If they call me back or text me back, then uh, I will let you guys know. I'll update you guys on what's happening. And uh, yeah. It's pretty exciting, pretty nerve wracking. So yeah, <laughs> but my question to all of you guys for question of the day is what do you think those like the words were at the beginning? What do you think they, they meant? Do you think it's some kind of like message, some kind of like, you know, like a uh, hidden message? What do you call it? Like subliminal message. Do you think it's something like that? Let me know in the comment section. That is question of the day. And guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me call, call more scary numbers, hit the like button down below and let's see if we can go for 500 billion likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. But that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.